Hello, Ron's Archie. It's time for Stories with Ron. Excuse me while I sit here and go through these, this bucket of 100 arrows that I've shot in the last few days. Got to weed out the bad ones. <coughs> and uh, while I'm at it, I thought I'd just tell you one of my stories, this old geezer stories. It was back when I was in the United States Marine Corps and they had us up in the mountains at MCRD, not MCRD, was it up the ocean side? I don't know, Camp Pendleton, that's it, brain fart. Camp Pendleton. They loaded us up on uh, these green trucks, we call them cattle cars, it reminded me of the trucks you used to see going down the highways in Texas to Oklahoma with double decker had the cows the bottom cows on the top you see them all the time oh they stuck they loaded us up in those green trucks we had our fatigue zone had our rifles our helmets cartridge belt with uh, two canteens and first aid pouch and I remember just like it was yesterday we sat there on that bus. We knew we were going up into the <coughs> mountains to the swimming pool, a huge swimming pool. The idea was we had to climb up the tower and we had to step off in our gear with our rifle. You hit the water, you went down, you kicked off the bottom, you came back up, and you had to make your way to the far end of the pool. Now, I grew up swimming at Lake Arlington and skiing, water skiing, so I was pretty adept at swimming. But when you put on fatigues and a helmet and a heavy rifle, it wasn't these little dinky M16s, these were the old fashioned heavy rifles, and your cartridge belt with two canteens and first aid pouch, that's heavy. The fatigues get heavy and it's hard to stay afloat. Canteens help a little bit, but the problem with that was you still had to get to the far end of the pool. So let me tell you, I did it. I made it there and back, or made it there out of the pool. These black dudes, the joke was in the Marine Corps that they supposed to be called supposed to sink. They went to the bottom. I don't know why that is, but invariably, when I've gotten water, it went down. I personally think it's because they hadn't been around activities where they were swimming. But <clears throat> it didn't matter what color you were, you could be brown, white, black purple, they didn't care. You had to make it to the other end of the ground. There's quite a few of the guys that almost drowned. Remember more than once, the drill instructor would have to jump in the water to save somebody. And they had to get back out of the pool, go back up the tire, and do it again. They had to do it until they could make it to the other end. The sad thing about that is you get so tired after you've done it two or three times. But I know on the trip up to the pool, we were all pretty quiet. And then someone said, I think this is the day they're going to kill us. And I sat there and thought about that for a minute. I looked over and said, what are you talking about? He said, I can't swim. A lot of us can't swim. We really can't swim if we're wearing all this gear. I think today's the day they're going to take us up there, make us step off that tower, they're going to drown us. We're going to die. That was kind of a joke around the Marine Corps from the time boot camp all the way through. <coughs> You're always saying, kill, ha, kill, ha. 
And there was times came when we thought, seriously, they're going to kill us. Nobody can survive this particular activity. Well, we survived it. Some of us did better than others.